Okay, once again, on the internet, I'm just so determined to get back to my mindset, to get back to eating the way I want. And now I'm like, I'm thinking I'm worrying about it too much. I'm not enjoying my life. I'm stressing too much about food. And I don't want to get back to that point again. So I found that little cartoon that I wanted to share at the beginning. And um, it's really, why worry? I mean, there, we're always going to have worry in our life. <clears throat> and we're always going to have stress at some point in our life. That's just a fact of life. Um, wouldn't it be nice if you could just live your whole life and never have any stress? It just would be so much nicer. But, you know, you have to remem remember that stress is a killer. My father um, died very young. And um, I think a lot of it was the stress of his job caused the disease that he had. My father died of cirrhosis of the liver, which is hereditary in my family. Uh, my father was not an alcoholic, but he did have, in his younger days, when you can do damage, um, he did drink a little bit too much. And, uh, and it, it paid in the end. Not paid in the end, but he had to pay for it in the end because uh, even though I hadn't been drinking for years, years, 20 years at least, um, there was just enough damage to his liver that, uh, and then it, we have liver disease in our family anyhow, so it just, uh, it was a, a, like a stepping stone effect. But the stress of his job, I think, really did his demise because um, it just didn't help. And stress just makes everything's so hard but it especially makes weight loss more difficult um everybody knows that when you're stressed you want to eat and what do you want to eat you want to eat comfort foods and what are comfort foods comfort foods are things that are high in fat high in sugar um they're not healthy choices well, let's just face it if if you're stressed or emotionally stressed or anything you're not going to go to the store and say oh i think i'll get a nice big salad or you know like or you go to the restaurant and have a nice big salad if you're like me, if you're stressed, you're going to go to Big Boys and get a hot fudge cake. <laughs> you're just going to do that. Or you're going to go over to the bakery and, uh, and buy some cake. I have to tell you that yesterday I was like stressing about my weight loss. And I had to go to my dentist appointment, which my dentist is in my old neighborhood, which is probably about a half hour from my house here. But I like the dentist, and so I still go to him. But he's also five minutes away from my favorite bakery that has my turtle cake. And the whole time driving to the appointment, I kept thinking, well, you know what? I could go to the bakery. I can buy the cake. I can slice it up and put it in the freezer. And I'll just eat a little bit when I want it. And then I thought, you eat frozen cake. No, you don't need to do that. So I, I didn't, even though I was stressing about my weight and thinking I really wanted the cake, I didn't go to the bakery. So I figured that was my victory for the day yesterday. But... Uh, also, which brings you back to like what I said, you couldn't crave. I would think that if I was stressed in the next couple of weeks about whatever, I'm not really stressed about anything right now other than trying to lose weight. And why do I want to stress about that? Like I said on my daily vlog today, it's, I'm going to want to keep up with this no matter how much I lose. And I can never go back to the way I used to eat. So I need to stop stressing about it and stop worrying about it. And, and just know that, you know, I'll accomplish my goal. And when you're stressed, you sleep less, which leads to chronic fatigue, which causes this hormone called ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, to rise. And it's the primary hormone that tells you when you're um, hungry, even when you're not hungry. Um, so how many of us out there have eaten when we're not really hungry? How many of us has eaten, have eaten more than we really wanted? Um, I have like huge portions on my food. I am trying to cut that back. I really am trying to cut that back. Um, but um, it's just, I don't find myself eating just to eat unless I'm stressed. And, um, and, and I want to, I think I do better now recognizing it. You need to recognize why you're eating. Are you really eating because you're hungry or is it because you're thirsty? Uh, are you eating because you're really hungry or it just looks good? You know, you, you have to balance it out in your brain. You have to really think about it um, especially when you're stressed. Is this going to make me feel that much better? Is that piece of cake going to make me feel that much better? Uh, at funerals, after funerals, when you go to the wakes, they always have all of the comfort foods that you want. I think it, in those instances, it kind of brings you some kind of relief, but you shouldn't be looking to food for relief. But the, I don't know, any anyone, you know, I'm Irish. When we go to ours, you know, we have all of our typical Irish foods and stuff and um, 
it just it, it makes you brings you back happy memories and I, I you know unfortunately food does bring memories whether it's happy or sad you just have to know to, how to control it and and let not let it control you and um also, stress can cause you not to eat, which is just as unhealthy. Everybody would say, oh, yeah, give that to me, Sandy. I'll lose weight anytime I want. But, uh, you know, like not anytime I want. I'll take that anytime I want because then I can lose weight. But, you know, a lot of times when you're not eating, you're causing yourself to have de dehydration. You're, you're malnourished. You can be obese and be malnourished. I mean, that's just a myth. Malnourished means that you're not getting the proper vitamins in your diet. Um, I forget what his name is, but he did a... He ate only at McDonald's for a month. He ate all of his meals. And his numbers skyrocketed because he didn't eat anything healthy. I mean, there are healthy choices at McDonald's. Don't get me wrong. You can make healthy choices. But he was trying to make the point that if you were just to strictly eat just McDonald's like burgers and fries and pies and shakes, that it damages your health. And his health was damaged, and that was only after 30 days. Um, you can go to McDonald's. You can go to Wendy's. You can go to Burger King. You can go to all of these places and order something healthy. It is possible but when I was growing up, it wasn't possible. I mean, you went to McDonald's, you knew that you were going to get fries and a shake and a burger, and that was it. You were going to make a healthy food choice. Now, restaurants are getting smart to that, so you want to make sure of that. And also, it affects your immune system because you need all of those vitamins to get your cells working properly. And we all know that stress also, is, it, it's does something to make you want to eat more. I don't know why. You're not hungry, but you still want to eat more. And it has this um, control over this hormone, cortisol, that increases your belly fat. And then it also slows down your metabolism. So you think that it's not only that you're eating, you're slowing your metabolism down. And if you're over, four, if you're in menopause or past menopause, you know that it slows down your metabolism. Your emotional state of mind is always going to be the same no matter what your age. Your reason for eating emotionally is always going to be controlled by your emotions. But your metabolism, unfortunately, is based on your, your age and how, act, how active you are, too. Um, if you don't do a lot of activity, your body just like, oh, um, she's, in star she's starving. You know, you could be eating all the wrong stuff, but if you're not moving and working that stuff off, your body slows down because it thinks, you know, i got to control this for her or him, either way. And unfortunately, your fat signals to your brain that they want more. They don't need more, but they kind of signal to your brain. So you have to be aware of the, uh, whether it's your fat talking or if it's your brain talking. And your brain's talking because your stomach's telling you, your brain, I'm hungry. But the fat hormones are just saying to the brain, come on, I want some more food. I don't have enough in here. And think of ways that you can stop with the stress. Like I said, we're going to have stress every day of our life. We're, or not every day of our life, but we're going to have it all of our life. We're, at some point in our life, we're going to have some kind of stress. So you want to figure out what works for you to, to have a stress management. Um, maybe just sit in a chair, being just completely still with yourself. A lot of people do yoga. Um, I turn to prayer. A prayer helps me a lot. I'll say my rosary. Um, reading. Listening to some music. Quiet music. <laughs> Of course, you know what, if really heavy metal makes you relax, I guess you could, but I don't know how it could. I love heavy metal music, don't get me wrong, but uh, if that beat doesn't sense, give me a sense of uh, quiet <laughs> norm. Um, sometimes those stress balls that you just squeeze on. Uh, call a friend, go for a walk, do something. You know, watch a uh, happy movie, something. Just, I don't know, just something like that. Also, you wanna get regular exercise. I cannot wait till I can get back out walking. I know I can walk around the house and I can walk at Lowe's and I could go, there's no malls close to me, but I could figure out a way. I miss walking outside. I love walking outside. And I was hoping to walk today, but there's a little bit too much ice still, so I can't. And the third thing you want to do is balance your calories. You just want to figure out what, a lot of times if you eat something, it leads to stress because you think, oh, I shouldn't have ate that. Why did I eat that? And then that'll lead, well, you know what? I already ate it. I might as well eat something else. So it kind of has a pattern there, you know, like a loop-de-loop -loop pattern. So remember the three things that you want to remember when you want to control stress is mindfulness, meditation, and exercise. If you practice those three things, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> what an abrupt ending, eh? Um, I was thinking of the, uh, 
the Billy Joel song, Pressure. You need to... Well, how does that go? No, I'm not going to even sing it because I can't remember the words. You need to pace yourself. Pressure! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what song I'm talking about. I should play a little tiny little snippet of it here. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You'll have to wait and see. Pressure. You're just like everybody else. Pressure. 